was fun, though. That, that was, was fun. that was really yeah. fun. Now I'd like to go and just listen and see. Like, of course, they wouldn't be as good as us, but listen to all of them together and like wonder what we sounded like as um, you know in the audience or something. Mm -hmm. Not out of tape yet, are you? Not yet, no. Because I'm nowhere near done. <laughs> I'm about the halfway point. <laughs> ah. um, so what, what other fads do we miss that? We had some big hair when we were looking at our pictures. Yeah, big hair. <clears throat> Scary big hair. Oh, blue eyeshadow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My wife still wears that. She's stuck <laughs> She looks good in it. Probably was, not I, like what we're used to. No, no. not as thick. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at my senior picture the other day and I'm like, good Lord, I, I can't believe my mom and dad let me even walk out of the house. Well, like, I know, I think at mine, I'm like, oh my gosh. I know, because my girls, they, but it was, it was the era. It was, it was what was, I mean, you know. So what was your favorite song? What was our class song? I couldn't our remember. Our class song was. was oh. Don't worry, be happy. Then we Don't voted. worry, be happy. But we revoted, and then it That's was. That's right. It was a John Bon Jovi song. Yes. Yeah. What was it? Oh, I'll be there for you. Worse. No. Living on a prayer was that? No. What no. Was? I, I think it was remember. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. That's Maybe. probably what it was. Our class colors were black and red, weren't they? Mm -hmm. I remember those. Um, gosh. You were the class flirt. I was class flirt. Matt. Ding dong here. Matt and Stacy were the. Who was the co? Who was the? Vice president. Was it just a president and vice president, or was it no, treasurer? There was, there was president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary, yeah, I but I don't know who they were. Matt was, Matt was president. Matt was president. Sharon was secretary. Yeah. I can't remember the other two. You were I was a class clown. clown. I was a class clown. You mm -hmm. and Brett Emerson. Brett Emerson. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Matt and Matt Yates and Linda, Miller. was it Miller? Mm -hmm. were, best were best dressed. Yeah. Who was most likely to succeed? Matt and Sarah. Matt and Sarah. Um, Kim Jones and Rod, Rod. Miller were hot, hot rods. rods. Yeah. That's right. Who had best smile? Did you guys do best smile? That Pepper was Rice. Pepper Rice and Travis McFadden. Travis, Travis, yeah. Most athletic, Christy Blackman. 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 <laughs> 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 Most spirited was Amy Sellers and Brett Emerson. Yeah. I'm going to see their pictures. Yeah. She's coming to the reunion. Is she? Good. She's going to cheerlead, I think. Um, gosh. <laughs> so, like, I know we all thought that um, yeah, we knew everything. But, like, when did you guys realize that, like, we didn't know anything? When did it hit you? That we really didn't know we don't. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Senior year was a total waste. Oh, no, no. Gosh. Well, that brings to the question I was going to prepare for all of you is, what what do you take with you into your, your adult life that you learned from either a teacher or, or an experience from Wayne Dale? I can't. Myself, I don't even remember. I use Miss, Mr. Pat as an example because yeah. I was in his class all the time. Yeah, <laughs> From any one particular teacher, or it could be a group. You know, if you don't want to pick pinpoint one. Oh no, I'll pinpoint. Um, <laughs> this is a good thing. Yeah. I have to say that <clears throat> for me, if it hadn't been for Gary, like giving me a shot and kind of overseeing my bubble-headedness and stuff at times, I don't. If I didn't have music and I wasn't involved in band and major and choir and musicals and stuff, I don't know. I don't think I would be the person that I am today. And so I'm thankful to him for that, you know, for not just overlooking me or passing me by and stuff. Um, I would absolutely say that he was probably the biggest influence mm -hmm. of a teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gary, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, though, as far as, like, academically and stuff, I think Mrs. Bergen was probably another one that mm -hmm. really helped prepare me for college and everything. I never had. <laughs> she was wonderful. I, I loved her. She was, she was yeah, really good teacher. Too, yeah. she, she was very good. Mr. Pat was probably my favorite. His art. Yeah, we went on and stuff. And he always, he always, uh, would sit around and just chat. Like, you know, we were working on things, but he would just talk about his life and his personal stuff. 
you felt really connected to him instead of sometimes you walk in and it's like you see the teacher and then you leave and that's you know that's all you get but um, and he was always very encouraging and just just very if you had an idea he'd, he'd really you know go for it and do this and stuff <coughs> Besides teachers, I think just friends and your social experiences oh. are are more than anything else you get out of high school. Even Absolutely. more than just the education and Absolutely. And, <laughs> you know, do you guys feel this way? Okay, so like we all know that there were cliques. I mean, there was preppy cliques, and there was brain cliques, and there was, you know, then there was like what do you call them? The hoods. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, so Did there were there were different. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I don't think. I don't think that it's probably this way at every other school, but like I could walk down the hall and like I never had a problem and I don't think they had a problem. Like any of them talking amongst, you know, I don't think that they were so segregated that like you didn't have friends in those. Right. Do you? Mm -hmm. you know, or I, if you said hi or stopped to talk to somebody, they would th stop and yeah. talk to you. Yeah. yeah, right. Well, and I can tell from experience because my sophomore year was my last official year we knew, but then I moved. My, my parents moved us to Michigan, and um, I went to a school that was six times the size of Landale, and I was scared to death to walk down this hallway. It was, I mean, you know, I'm used to Landale, you can touch both sides of the locker, you know? I mean, it was like, you know, what, there's lockers over on that side, you know? And, I mean, there was it's such a vast difference, and for two years I saw a new face every day, and I so much missed. Leandale and this, this tightness and the, the friends and, and just growing up going from, you know, a lot of us going from grade school on through high school. And did you feel like you had better opportunities at a bigger school? I did. In, in some areas I did. Like in, um, in the art department. Just because they had more funds. It, it was probably. more funds. It was, it was huge. And, but I would say that Mr. Pat would would have probably done better encouraging me to stick with my art, whereas I was kind of lost in a big number of kids. He probably knew you more personally. <coughs> right. Right. right, right. And then going to going to the new school, um, the opportunities and, and the stuff that I could do was really cool, but, but I never was encouraged to keep a portfolio or to have stuff ready for college. So when I went to college, I was kind of like, well, I gave all my stuff away, <laughs> but, I, but I can do it, you mm -hmm. know, and where I think Mr. Pat would have really said, you need to start, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, and, and it was just, it was very hard. It was hard to make friends. I, I kind of stayed in the art room at that new school because that was the only place that I felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. And um, so I would spend many hours even after school in there, but that secluded me from other people, so I didn't, it took a long time to make friends, and it was... There was two years that I really, it was probably the last six months of my second year that I even became out of my shell to, to meet people and develop friendships. But but she came back on the weekends and stuff. She came back. She yeah. was my makeup artist in my junior and senior year musicals. Yeah. Well, whenever, I mean, all my family still lived here, so yeah. we, would, we would come back all the time. And, of course, I'd just be hanging out. So, like, when you think of your alma mater, who do you think of? And I, I think that's, that's special. Isn't that's it? Really special. Well, because I mean, I graduated from this other school, but I have to catch myself sometimes because I'll, I'll be talking to somebody. I'm like, oh, I went to Wayne. I graduated from. I went to Wayne <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, and then I'm like, I would have graduated from Wayne but you know, it, I always felt like I was still. Nobody ever forgot about me. Yeah. I made sure of that. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> but you know, it, it's just always. It was always part of me, and so I would never have, I, don't, I mean, I think I have three people that I still keep in touch with from that school in Michigan. After two years, there's three people mm -hmm. that, you know, and that's even, that's even far and few between that I, you know, but, and then people that I remember, I don't remember anybody. I remember a lot of people from Wayne, I don't remember anybody from that mm -hmm. school. So, you know, it's just differences, but I always miss, I remember I did a lot of writing and creative writing class, and I would always write about Wayne Dale <laughs> and the differences between the two schools and how I would, like, put Wayne Dale on this little, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like oh, pedestal, awesome. you know, and then, and then talk about, like, the school now, you know. So. You still have that? That'd be cool to see that. Do you have it? You what? Still, those writings, do you have that still? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Didn't have computers <laughs> back then. <laughs> you know, we just moved. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, I don't know. That's cool. Some of them, you know, got handwritten. <laughs> I think it's cool, too, how you can, you can, geez, not come to a football game or something for a couple of years, but, I mean, you see a teacher and they, I mean, yeah. they, you immediately recognize each other. Oh, yeah. Um, that just, that where, blows me away. Yeah. I mean, I call Gary. I mean, Gary played at my wedding. I didn't have the church organist. My too. You know? My too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember I called and he's. Um, I said, "Will you play for my wedding?" He's like, "Sure." And then he called me back. He's like, "Who are you marrying?" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well, I did want to ask in case things didn't work out. <laughs> I said, "No, it's Matt." So, so yeah. I mean, and I just don't know how you know if that happens at bigger schools. I mean, probably if you're very into that program, you know, and are yeah. close with the director, but um. I was very close with my art teacher at the new school, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but like I said, I don't. She didn't encourage me to go into fine arts, and it, you know, mm -hmm. she didn't kind of guide me on. You know, we hung out, and, and and I still actually when I moved back to Michigan this last year, I called her and we caught up, and that was nice. But it was that was really the only teacher that mm -hmm. you know really. Right. And and that was just because I was like I was always there. You know, right. So right. She gave me a key or something. You know. Like, I didn't yeah, I think that's, I don't think that happens as much. And, no. But I don't think any of you can say that you had a former teacher who's not your father-in-law. Uh, <laughs> I can't. That's right. That's Which right. was, that was a little weird. Yes, I, I can imagine. imagine. You yeah. had one that's an uncle, that's yes. right? Yeah. Our, yeah. I started and ended with, with relatives. Yeah. started with my aunt Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Journalism class, that was a fun class, speaking of Artie. <laughs> Try to get an interview with him. He you know, would, if you can get him, get him to interview, he, said he, won't. he won't. You ask him the next time if anybody's ever topped my my <laughs> advertising record. Okay. Because I bet that they haven't. I'll, yeah, I'll be in school he here. He sold two hundred, two to three hundred dollars per issue. Sorry. What did you call yourself, Golden Thunder Tree, the other day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I could sell. I could sell. <laughs> I don't know if I should. This is probably not politically correct, but let's see. Mm. Eskimo snow. Yeah, I can sell an Eskimo snow. <laughs> huh? So can you bring I can. I really can. And he, I mean, I, I remember for several years down the road, he would always bring up to his journalism class, there was this girl in 1989, and she <laughs> saw, I don't know how she did it, but she sold more. It wasn't those low cut shirt you were wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Oh. You guys, um... Our own Wayne Dale High. Okay, let's get our notes taken. Let me start here. You already started. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, it's stable. Right. Action. Kids color them in, and they got different prizes for doing that. So. Speaking about students, do you, do you feel in the years that you've taught, um, how, how, how have they changed? I mean, obviously, technology has changed the way. In art, you know, in, in your department, in the art, how have how's technology changed the way you teach or? get through to the students? Yeah. I don't know that technology has changed the way uh, what we feel is important to teach, mm -hmm. but uh, 
we certainly did get technology. We uh, years ago we started out with uh, one.